Yo, yo, YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy Frank Nitty, and we are back with another video. As you can see right now, I'm at the crib, chilling out, whatever like that. And um, I just got these packages in, and also I started putting stuff onto the Peterbilt. I bought more chrome for the dashboard because the dashboard was just looking horrible. You know what I'm saying? I took the screws out, the original dash screws, put some chrome ones in, took the nozzle off the air brakes, put a chrome cover on it. Um, what else we did? Put the chrome cover around the AC unit. On one of those screws, it's another chrome piece that goes at the top, but one of those screws is stuck. So I had to spray like, you know, some little, some stuff to loosen up the screw. So I go back up there and check that out, you know, or whatever like that. Um, we also got all new, I got to get two more, um, uh, alcohol, what, what is it called? Um, AC vents, two more vents, two more chrome vents, because I put chrome vents and I took the black ones out and put the chrome ones in. So that's going to be hard as hell. You know what I'm saying? It already look good so far. I'm almost done painting the entire inside of the truck and it's actually turned out pretty dope so far, you know. And the visor part where the radio go right above, right above your head, that's coming out. And I ordered the chrome piece from Full State Trucks so that I could put the chrome up there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut out a big enough hole for a double den and then we're gonna go with the watermelon lights that goes across. We got the drop visor. I'ma tint the windshield across the front at the top. So everything can come out pretty decent, pretty dope. You know what I'm saying? Just like one step at a time. And today I just got another piece in. So I don't even know what this is. I just been ordering stuff back to back. And um, as far as the lights at the top, no, I'm not going to. The dome light, I'm going to take that out of there. And I order the, it is a, it's a, it's a stainless steel plate, but you can put a watermelon light in it and operate it that way. And then the fluorescent light in the back, they got the stainless steel plate where you put the full um, watermelon lights in it. And then it's like some lights, the original lights, they're just hanging right now, but. I'm going to get the stainless steel plate to go right there and put the watermelon lights in it. And it's going to be switchback. So, if it's, uh, they're going to be switchback lights. So, they'll be white, green, uh, light there, like whichever color you're trying to use. But, I'm going to go ahead and try to figure out what this is. I need to be staring. Like, I don't get it. You're going to say, what's up or not? But, we're going to see. I'm trying to breathe this box open real quick. I'm kind of moving like I need to set this phone up somewhere. I was supposed to go get a haircut, but that didn't happen. I was supposed to get my hair done. That didn't happen. So they just been kind of like a, a busy day. So I wasn't able to do what I wanted to do. But my truck, the Peterbilt is. Tell me if you think it's cheap, right? So. I spent a lot of money on this truck. Like I told you in a previous video, it's over $22,000 in that truck in order to get it operable and running without a problem. So tell me if you think it's cheap. The Freightliner that I got, got the same size tires on it. I was going to get a whole brand new set of tires, 10 brand new tires from Bridgestone and put them on the Freightliner and take the old tires off the Freightliner and put it on my Peterbilt because them tires are still good. I think they're like 230 seconds, 330 seconds, something like that. Like they still up the pole. Like even when I tried to go switch them, when I was about to go switch them out, the dude at Freeline was like, bro, like them still some good ass tires. I don't even know why you're trying to switch them out right now. But they're just a plan. Like let me, to me, I feel like it's a good ass idea. You know, anybody else, you might say it's cheap, but I think it's a good idea. I'm slinging this and I don't know what's in it. My fault once again. I'm still trying to open this box. And they got it sealed. Pretty. Mm. 
They got to see it pretty tight. Mm. So I'm gonna just. Alright, so this is the rear cover, the chrome piece. This the rear cover. So this right here is the um the cross member. The cross member, uh, a chrome cross member cover. So boom. Like the one that's on the back of my truck right, right now, it's all bent up out of proportion. So what well, the thing is when I was just at the chrome stock, a uh, chrome shop up there in Kenley, North Carolina. I bought the same thing, but forgot that I ordered this. That's how I know I'm buying too much stuff for the truck. And I'm gonna show you something else. So as far as the music that's going in the truck, custom door panels, custom cab door panels on all sides. Right here, we got, this is 24 rock lights. It's gonna go up under the truck. It's gonna go all around the truck. They're gonna also have chicken lights on them as well and watermelon. So it's gonna be a whole bunch of different type of light situations going on. Um these right here, as you see, I'm going with planet audios. We're gonna put four planet audios. I mean, oh I'm tripping PRV. We're gonna put four um PRV eights in each door on both sides. You got your tweeters horns and it's one two three three boxes of speakers three boxes of speakers so it is what it is on it and just make that that happen but other than that that's the update on the p slowly getting it done but it's coming together and making it happen because it's time to get on the road. It's time, it's time to get on the road. It's been too long. Pretty decent. 
And I am painting the interior. Uh, that's the original color. And that's the color I'm, uh, I'm painting right now. And doing the job. I'll take these dope panels off. I'm a fiberglass, my dope panels. Yeah, hey, bro. Other than that, I'm loving it. The headlights bright. I don't know why I do that. Oh, I don't have a high beam on this side. But they bright enough for me. I need to give me a steering wheel. Uh, Cover column cover. Satisfied with it so far. I'm getting a chrome. Uh, what is this? A visor, hairliner, visor, something like that. I got a chrome one coming in, so I'm about to pull this down. Hey, I just took off the. I just took off the, you know, the little piece that fold down. Ten speed. And I got the covers that go over all the boxes that go down there along the bottom. Just trying to knock it out late night. Make some things happen. Yeah, so that's going to conclude this video. Please like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. And catch up with your next update. Hope you like the video. Drop down below if you got any ideas on anything. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm open to a whole bunch of ideas. You know, how we can make this truck look better, trick it out, customize it, whatever like that. And catch up with on the next one.